Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 24, and I have made an executive decision. I have decided that I'm going to go on ahead and show you the second-to-last ending, and also show you exactly what the Alucard shield does when used with the sword rod or the Malbung. Mablung. Whatever. So, this is what this does. It takes all the shields, ramrods them together, and as long as you have your shield up... Bullshit. Look, asshole. This is happening! You do stupid amounts of damage, but you're only invisible in those few moments when you're actually damaging enemies. So yeah, it does a stupid amount of damage. So the moment you connect with the shield, you win. Guess what time it is? It's you win time. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a save point here because hey, why not? I'll figure out how I want to work everything out later. Because I'm pretty sure at this point I am close enough to 195% that I would probably screw myself if I didn't just go straight for the final boss. So let's just do it. Let's just do it and hope that I did not horribly screw myself over. I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty close. I'm pretty damn close. Mm. I mean, I'm pretty damn close. Give me just one second. Okay, yeah, I checked it, and uh, everything's okay. I'm only at 189%, so I could totally just, just finish the game off. So, yeah, let's just let's just do that. Let's just finish the game off and be done with it. At least to get the second-to-last episode. The second-to-last ending. I'm still going to go back and do it properly. So, basically, I'm going to cheese my way through this fight. Basically, is what's about to happen. Is I'm going to completely cheese the fight, and I don't care. <laughs> Uh, I am going to finish exploring the castle. I am going to finish exploring the castle. I promise you, but I'm basically going to cheese through it just so you can get the second to last ending, and then we'll do it properly. So, enjoy! This is probably going to be a short episode. Maybe. I don't know yet. Hey. You have done well in making it this far. I would expect no less from the son of our master. So you are the one who was controlling Belmont? Yes. I am the dark priest called Shaft. This world must be cleansed in the forge of chaos. Why did you make Belmont lord of this castle? For centuries, vampire hunters have defeated evil with holy power. But if two vampire hunters were to fight each other, but Belmont's power is supreme among vampire hunters. None other could defeat him. Exactly. That's why I removed him as a threat, by making him into lord of this castle. But your plan has failed. Has it indeed? We'll see what happens after I destroy your weak human side. <laughs> Oh! No! You claim to love the darkness. Go then and dwell there for all eternity. But... but my goal is achieved. Count Dracula has come to purify this corrupt world with the searing flames of chaos. <laughs> Father. Well met, my son. It's been a long time. I was hoping we would not see each other again. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. You have ever been the ally of humans. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? Think you I would forget such a thing? No, but neither do I seek revenge against them. 
Still uttering the same nonsense. No matter. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side and join me in remaking this world! Dracula, in the name of my mother, I will defeat you again! Behold my true form and What? I can't hear you. Go back whence you came. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. How? How? How is it that I've been so defeated? You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. Ah, uh, uh, sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 1626, I believe. Tell me, what, what were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. This. Yeah, we can skip this. So you made it. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. It is my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. Twould be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell then. We'll not meet again. Alucard, don't you want to go after him, Maria? No, it's best this way. I can't ease his torment. Someday, perhaps, we will meet again. And on that day, maybe. I see. Let's go. Everyone's waiting for us. Yes, let's get out of here. There you have it, the second to last ending of the game. Maria does not go after Alucard. You know what? It is kind of a short episode, so let's go back to exploring. Okay, so, um, as it turns out, <laughs> beating the game, the final boss and all that, even though I didn't have a hundred, or I should say two hundred percent, that still counted as a clear file. So that means I could, if I wanted to, go fight that golden skeleton guy with the giant blue bone, I forget his name, it starts with a P, I could fight him and try to get the ring of Varta. Vartis. Whatever. Oh, by the way, there's a heart refresh over here. But, uh, I'm gonna go back and basically go back to exploring the rest of the castle. It's gonna take me a little bit to get over there, though, so... Yeah. Ooh. Honestly, it looks like no matter which way I go, it's going to take me a while to get there. Ugh. Oh well. There's nothing for it. I'm just going to have to... <sighs> I don't know which way I want to go. I'll figure it out. I'll get back to you guys.
Okay, it was a bit of a long walk, but I made it to where I wanted to go, and just for safety's sake, I decided to go ahead and go with the Marsil, considering where I'm about to go exploring, I'm definitely going to need it. I feel like I'm going to need it. Alright, hold on. Hey, remember how I said I was going to need you for like, a minute? Maybe? Hey man. I'm ready to serve, master. Yeah, go push that button. Oh wait, you have to leave the room and then come back in. That's what it was. Hey, go push that button. Hmm. This switch hasn't been pressed yet. There you go. You're fired. <laughs> well, that was mean, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Your services are no longer required. Thank you for playing. That's just as bad. Oh, come on. All right, we'll just go this way. We'll just see what this has to offer. Hi there. I have a fire sword. What do you have? <laughs> oh, fire sword. All right. This is the way I wanted to go if I wanted to open the pathway. So that I could fast travel, I think. No, it's not. That's just stupid. It's just... Okay, no, it's a power of Sire and a life apple. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a fast travel path in here somewhere. at the end of the game at this point. I, I thought I could stretch this out even farther. I, it, oh, jeez. Where's my time clock? Where's my clock? Well, technically, I don't even need the clock at this point. I really don't need the time stopper. The last thing I really needed it for... That's impressive, I gotta admit. The last thing I really needed it for... was uh, fighting the doppelganger. That was really the last thing I needed it for. Which way has what I want? I know by going up we continue on with this. Damn God, that. Uh... No, there it is. There's the Alucard sword. I was wondering when I was gonna get that. Probably the last sword we get in the game. Come on. Also, I'm having issues with my recording again, so. <laughs> Might be about time for me to stop this recording, folks. Weeds everywhere. In fact, here it is. I'm almost 100% certain. And there it is, the last warp gate in the game. So, this is where I'm going to stop it for this episode, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on what is hopefully going to be the final episode.